Hey everyone, it's Flagfire. Battlefield 5 is a game full of subtle details, ranging from the barrel kill stripes on the last Tiger tank skin to being able to protect your team's location by shooting down pesky spotting flares. Click the link in the video description for 30 other neat details in Battlefield 5. But in the meantime, welcome to Episode 4. As usual, for this video, we're checking out 10 more cool details that make Battlefield 5 more compelling and interesting for players. They might be big or small, but there's a good chance some of them are new to you. First up, let's check out one of the best gadgets in Battlefield 5, the Piat Launcher. The Piat is the bane of tank and infantry alike, especially since it can double as a mortar when you ADS and use the minimap. But for this video, we're looking at the standout audio behind the Piat. It's a rare occasion in a video game when you can actually hear how a weapon functions. And you get that a bit with gadgets like the grenade launcher, but the Piat here takes it to a whole new level. Mechanically, the Piat uses a huge spring to ram a spigot rod into the projectile, which then strikes a propellant charge and launches the shell. You can think of it as basically a giant Nerf gun, and it explains why you hear a sound much more similar to a spring than a rocket when it's fired. Troops were trained to keep the weapon cocked but unloaded when going into combat, and recoil from firing the weapon actually recock the rod in preparation for the next shot. And true to form in Battlefield 5, the Piat never needs to be manually recocked, which speeds up the reload process. Despite its rather odd design, the Piat saw service with several countries after World War II, and even saw action into the 1970s. Often prey for the Piat, tanks in Battlefield 5 are full of details. One of the neatest I've noticed is the actual rifle barreling inside of the tank barrels. This is present on a lot of vehicles, from the Valentine to the massive Sturmtiger, but if you blink, you'll miss the German assault gun's other big secret. Battlefield 5 developers actually rendered the Sturmtiger's entire 380mm rocket projectile in the game. At about one and a half meters long, that's almost five feet tall, this is no small object. Depending on the warhead, some of these weighed over 375 kilograms, or almost 830 pounds. If you look closely, DICE put an impressive amount of detail into the person-sized rocket, matching the paint scheme to existing examples and including the fuse and propellant engines. To load these huge shells, a crane was required and it's present on the Stormtiger model in Battlefield 5. Devs even animated the ring to sway with the movement of the vehicle. Up next, let's look at the boy's anti-tank rifle recently added to Battlefield 5. This new gun packs a serious punch against light armor and infantry, but will only scratch the hide of heavily armored tanks like the German Tiger. DICE weapon animators took some impressive steps to ensure the weapon looks mechanically as good as it feels. Aside from the magazine release clicking as a new mag is inserted into the gun, if you look carefully, you can actually see the cocking piece move forward when fired. This is then recocked with the cycling of the bolt, and the ring here allows the user to manually cock the firing mechanism, similar to service rifles like the Swiss K31. The boy's anti-tank rifle was marginally effective at the beginning of World War II, but the increase in armor and enemy tanks made it impractical by the end of the conflict for all but the likes of half-tracks, transports, and infantry. Although a British weapon, other nationalities employed the rifle, and American Marines actually used it against Japanese aircraft during the Macon Raid. The boy's rifle in Battlefield 5 is also effective at destroying targets like buildings. Not only does the shot penetrate and destroy the structure, it can also drop debris on enemies for additional damage. The boy's rifle was actually known for this ability, and it even helped British engineers destroy oil holding tanks in Rotterdam during the German invasion back in 1940. For our next detail, let's look at one of the most useful yet little-known tricks in Battlefield 5 the combat roll. I'm honestly amazed so few people know about this maneuver, especially since it saves my life at least once a game. If you fall from a higher height in Battlefield 5, 
hold your crouch button to perform a roll upon landing. Now this does trigger a rolling animation, but it also greatly reduces, or in some cases, totally eliminates damage from the fall. It's similar to holding the jump button to do a ledge grab. The rolling animation does throw off your aim for a split second, but it's a better alternative than breaking your legs or dying. It is of course not 100% foolproof as a big drop will still kill you, but rolling often takes the sting out of sticking the landing. Up next, there are several different types of plane bailouts in Battlefield 5, and some of the most interesting ones involve bombers. Depending on the position from which you jump, you'll see a different bailout animation. My personal favorite is jumping from a gunner position in the German Ju-88. Your character exits through the bomb bay, where you can actually see the bombs if they're loaded and ready to go. For the British Blenheim and Mosquito, you actually bail out the side of the aircraft. Similarly, there are some cool historically inspired airplane details on Battlefield 5's new Mercury map, but one of them is actually only noticeable on the ground. On the game's Crete map, one of the props is a German DFS-230 glider. This unpowered craft was towed to its target and landed with a parachute assist. Historically, it did take part in the invasion of Crete, and it even features the appropriate camouflage for the campaign. These gliders can be damaged during combat on Mercury, and they reveal DICE spent some serious time researching them. The DFS-230 had wooden wings and skin, while the fuselage was made of tubular pipe. And all of this can be spotted as the glider is destroyed. Devs also added the release for the tow cable and some instrumentation. Likewise, tanks in Battlefield 5 are also chock full of details, and some of the British tanks feature some really cool historical ingenuity. Certain tanks like the Valentine anti-aircraft tank can be equipped with smoke dischargers. However, unlike German designs, many smoke dischargers for the British were a rather stopgap design, mounting Lee Enfield grenade launchers on the exterior of the vehicle. These can be triggered from a line inside the tank and you can actually see the wire running to the trigger. Historically, of course, you'd have to exit the vehicle to reload them, but it's still really neat to see the length at which devs went to make the design true to the past. For detail number 8, DICE added a new death animation to tanks in-game. Now, players have been able to aim for particular parts of tanks for a while now. For example, shooting a tank in the tracks can wreck one, causing reduced mobility, or shooting a tank in the rear can disable the engine while hitting a tank in the turret can reduce its ability to quickly draw a bead on a target. Since the most recent update, however, tanks will occasionally cook off when they're destroyed, creating a visually stunning yet terrifying sight. During a cook-off, ammunition inside the tank detonates and a plume of fire and smoke billows out of the top hatch. DICE even added some smaller rounds of ammo cooking off for some more visual variety. Getting ammo racked also produces an unmistakable sound, one that makes your heartbeat a bit quicker in your chest. For our next detail, let's cool off with the rain in Battlefield 5. The most recent update also brought with it new physics and graphics related to precipitation. Rain in Battlefield 5 shows individual droplets hitting surfaces, and if you look closer, you can even see the water run off hard edges. This applies to both tanks and characters, as water can be seen dripping off of tank barrels and even the helmets of soldiers. It's a subtle detail, but it is one that adds to the game's atmosphere. Lastly, Battlefield 5 is known for some interesting wildlife, ranging from the tiny dragonflies of Twisted Steel to the massive Narvik Whale. The new Mercury map, however, adds one of the world's favorite mammals, dolphins, to the game. The dolphins on Mercury patrol the waters off the coast and will actually swim into the harbor at the German spawn if you'd like to take a look at them yourself. They even stick together in pods like real dolphins. So, what do you think of these details in Battlefield 5? And which is your favorite? Are there any details you've never seen in a video? Tell me down below in the comments. Meanwhile, I've got a couple giveaways coming, so make sure you're following on Twitter and Instagram at Flackfire Gaming. You can also catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash Flackfire, and you'll find all the links here in the video description. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to get notified of the latest content. YouTube recently made some changes that doesn't guarantee you'll see new videos unless you click that stupid bell, so don't miss out. If you want to support the channel, leaving a like and sharing the video goes a long way to help. And as always, thanks for watching.